everyone, I'm Nick from nextstepnick.com and let's talk about Demon's Tier Plus, which I don't think is the best name. Demon's Tier is kind of cool, but Demon's Tier Plus is a bit much. Uh, combat is kind of simplistic. The storyline is there, but incredibly confusing. There's some really funny moments in the story where um, these characters are delving into this hole that apparently the king has asked them to look into. But then it sometimes flashes back to what happened in the past, and it's amazing. Like now, there's a counsellor and someone else sort of talking to the king, trying to get them to see their side. And, you know, oh, um, because, because they're a bit loud, oh, we're going to cut these people to bits and feed them to dogs because they're talking too loudly. It's just so weird. It's so weird and out there. And at every moment it tries to sort of throw the plot out there. It tries to be a bit serious with it. And there's like this little comedy moment now and then, but... Really awkward, really funny, but I think accidentally funny. A little bit kitsch, but it's kind of sweet. The basic premise is you're entering each dungeon area, trying to complete a mission, which is usually kill a certain enemy, find a certain item, go to a certain place, open a certain chest, and then you have to escape and get to the certain door that takes you to the next level. It's pretty straightforward stuff. As you go down different levels, you get stronger and you're able to level up, and that means that you get slightly better attacks, or you might have someone with you that can also fight. You might find that you've got like a little secondary ability here and there, and there's extra damage being put out. It's okay. It's quite fun. I didn't feel like I wanted to play it more than once or twice, though. I was kind of done. I'd seen everything after the first playthrough, because combat doesn't feel very fluid. You're just sort of pushing towards the area and shooting out swords or shooting out shurikens. You can change characters to the other characters you see, so at the moment I think I'm playing as the knight, but you can also change to the other characters you saw chatting in the descriptions there. I don't really know how, much, how well they play, how differently they play, because it didn't really hook me to be honest. I mean this is my first playthrough you're looking at now. I got through to the very last boss on the first playthrough, I didn't use any of the stuff you can upgrade in town, I didn't use any of that stuff. I just ran straight through. I mean at the start of the game they mention as well that there's this reaper that will occasionally appear and chase you through levels and kill you. I literally never saw him. He popped up once on a mission where they asked me to repel him but they'd already told me he basically meant instant death. And I saw him and thought oh wow yeah this guy's creepy. How am I meant to deal with him? He's gonna kill me instantly. I better run away. Well yeah but this is the only time I saw him. When he did touch me, I think he did a tiny bit of damage. I hit him with a sword because they wanted me to repel him. And then they said, yeah, that's fine. And then you just left the level. So he's not really much of a threat. And I feel like that with a lot of the monsters in the story. It could be fleshed out a little bit better. It's a fun little dungeon crawly roguelite style game. And there's some really nice little moments where you're upgrading items and gear. But it needs a bit of work, really. Maybe flesh it out a little bit more, make the upgrades more useful, and really flesh that story out a bit more to find out what's going on, because it's, it's just verging on kitsch a little bit. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you again very soon.